VMware HCX is available for you when you start using VMware Cloud on AWS. Let's see how you can migrate your workloads to the VMware Cloud on AWS SDDC using VMware HCX. To deploy VMware HCX, go to Add-ons, open HCX, click Deploy HCX, and confirm to start the deployment. HCX Cloud Manager Appliance will be deployed and configured in the SDDC. Network and Compute Profiles will also be created during this process. Once it's finished, open HCX and log in to the HCX UI using the same vCenter credentials. Let's explore what the deployment has done, starting with site pairing. There are no site pairings at the moment. There isn't any service mesh configured either. But if you go to network profiles, you will see some network profiles that have been created. Let me take a moment here to talk about HCX connectivity requirements. VMware HCX creates a VPN tunnel between the on-premises site and the VMware Cloud on AWS SDDC. HCX can either use the public internet or a dedicated connection like AWS Direct Connect. If you have Direct Connect, the first network profile here called Direct Connect Network 1 is the one that HCX will use. If you want HCX to use the internet, then the second network profile here called external network will be used. The last profile provides network details for the HCX appliances. Now looking at compute profiles, there is one created by default. It shows you the HCX services available with VMware Cloud on AWS, such as HCX interconnect, network extension, and bulk migration. So VMware HCX is ready on your VMware Cloud on AWS, but you need to deploy a HCX connector appliance in the on-premises environment. I already deployed an HCX connector on-premises, so let's go to the on-premises vSphere client. In the vSphere client, click Menu and select HCX. Here I am now in the on-premises HCX UI. I am here because HCX configuration and migration need to be initiated from the source site, which is your on-premises site. First thing you have to do is configure the site pairing. Go to site pairing, click add a site pairing. Here you provide details of HCX deployed in VMware Cloud on AWS. Click Connect. Now that we have a site pairing, let's configure the service mesh. Select the VMware Cloud on AWS as the destination site. Next, select Compute Profiles for each site. For VMware Cloud on AWS site, you can select the Compute Profile that has been created by default. Here you can select the HCX services to activate. The availability of these services depends on licensing. Depending on the services selected, appropriate appliances will be deployed automatically by VMware HCX in both sites. Let's click Continue. This is an optional step. You can choose a specific uplink network profile for the HCX appliances, but I'm going to leave them as is. This is another optional advanced configuration that I will leave as is. And same thing here, so I'll click Continue. Here you can review the topology. This diagram displays all the HCX appliances that will be deployed at each site. Next, let's name the service mesh. 
click finish. It will take a little bit of time for the service mesh between the on-premises site and the VMware Cloud on AWS SDTC to be created. You can also track the progress by going to Tasks. Once it's done, we can go to the VMware Cloud on AWS SDTC. You will see some HCX appliances that have been deployed automatically. Now let's go back to the on-premises HCX UI and use HCX network extension to migrate virtual machines from the on-premises environment to the VMware Cloud on AWS SDDC. By using HCX network extension, you can migrate workloads without changing the machine IP addresses. Let's go to network extension. Click extend networks. I'm going to extend a network named VLAN 10 apps. Click next. Here I'm going to enable HCX mobility optimized networking. This allows virtual machines in the VMware cloud on AWS SDDC to use the NSX T router in that SDDC as the default gateway instead of having to use the on-premises router as the default gateway. This optimized routing limits network traffic hairpinning from occurring between the sites. Next, let's provide the gateway IP address and click Submit. Refresh the page, and you can now see the progress. Once the network extension has been completed, we can migrate virtual machines on that network to the VMware Cloud on AWS SDDC. Go to Migration and click Migrate. Select the destination site. We'll add a couple of SQL servers to migrate. We can name this mobility group SQL Servers Group 01. Mobility group allows you to implement migration waves that you've planned. Select the destination compute container. Select destination storage. Here, I'm going to choose to vMotion the virtual machines. Select the destination folder and you're ready to migrate. You can validate or just click go to start the migration. HCX will still validate before the actual migration starts. You can expand the mobility group for more details. You can also expand each virtual machine to view detailed migration events. I will fast forward through the migration progress. One thing to note here is that vMotion migrates one virtual machine at a time. If you want to migrate multiple virtual machines at once, you can use bulk migration or replication assisted vMotion. Now that the migration is complete, let's go to the VMware Cloud on AWS SDDC. Here you can see the two SQL servers that have been migrated from the on-premises environment. 